Hello friends, Bolt Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at Pacific Rim Uprising Saber Athena. Pick this figure up over at BigBadToyStore.com. It is currently available. Let's go ahead and open up. Or open it up. It comes with the figure, two extra hands, and three swords. Two smaller swords, and one giant sword. Alright, alright, let's take a look at the figure up close. Model primarily in an orangish red, black, and the weird gun metal. It looks good, actually. I like it a lot. I think the overall aesthetic of the figure is quite good. It's definitely the smallest of all the figures that I've gotten a hold of so far. The overall detailing is good. I love the molding, and I always love just giant thruster packs just right there in the back. I'm assuming this one is piloted by an all-female team. I actually don't know, and please don't spoil it in the comments. But the head sculpt. The head sculpt has been bothering me until recently. I have been trying to figure out where this head sculpt came from. It's HK-47 from Star Wars. I'm serious. Look, this thing's HK-47. In terms of ability, Saber Athena can look down that much, can look up that much. Wings on the back are fully poseable. Well, sort of fully poseable. They are on ball joints. Arms can fully extend outwards, can fully extend thanks to the double ball joint in the shoulders. Shoulder armor is on a ball joint and a hinge. Swivel at the upper arm. Double bend at the fist. Double bend at the elbow. Fists, or hands, are on ball joints. There is a ball joint in the chest, though it can't do an ab crunch. Double ball joint in the legs. Figure can kick out that much. Can kick forward that much. Can kick back that much. Double jointed at the knee for a full bend. And then ankles are on a double ball joint. So there is a ball joint at the top of the, or at the bottom of the leg, and at the top of the foot. So you can get some really crazy posability out of the feet. And speaking of poses, Saber Athena can pull off some fantastic poses. I don't know what it is about the molding of the body of this figure, but it's just small enough that all of the joints work in its favor. So you can pull off some really great, great poses. The only real negative I can really hammer at the posability are the small hands. The hands are tiny. I mean, really tiny compared to even Gypsy Avenger or any of the other figures I've already looked at. See, I'm not kidding. These hands are tiny. They are half the size of Gyp Gypsy Avengers opened hands. Saber Athena isn't that small. I mean, the figure is bigger than the first two Jaegers I've looked at. It's still smaller than Gypsy Avenger, though. The detailing on the three plasma swords is really nice. I love the effect that they've got going here. Plus, the shiny paint works really well. The large plasma sword is also well detailed, and it looks like a combination of the other two, which it probably is. I like Saber Athena quite a bit. I just wish that it came with more hands and that the hands were actually able to stay on the figure better. It requires just a little bit of force to pop the ball joint there at the wrist. Otherwise, it's a fantastic figure. If you can only pick two figures up, so far at the time of this review, I would recommend Gypsy Avenger and a Saber Athena. Let me know what you think of the figure down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and give me a subscription if you love the video. As always, I am Bolt Matrix, and I will catch you next time.